Hello all and welcome back to Tech Anorak. So we've got a review today of the Moto G8 Power, um, one of my uh, Motorola phones they kindly sent me for review. I'll give you my opinion on what I think of the Moto G8 Power and whether it's worth picking up in 2021. So I've already unboxed it but I'll show you what you get in the box guys. So obviously here's the phone. Um, I don't know if you just get this with review units um, but there was a little jelly case um, it might just be Motorola send that, I'm not sure. Um, usual books and stuff, as uh, again Fossey Carter says. And Pokey Pin Device. Again, another shout out, that's Techspert who says that, a pointy pin device. If you watch any of his reviews, he's a cool YouTuber from, he sounds like he's from County Durham Manor somewhere in, in the United Kingdom Lake. Um, it's a rubbish. North, North East access, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> and then you get an 18 watt fast charger and it's USB-A to USB-C. All right guys, so, as I said in my um, comparison video, I'll probably cover a lot that we went over in the comparison video, but the, um, the screen's a full HD panel. Um, it's IPS, so um, you get a fairly good well, IPS gives good viewing angles um, if you've got it tilted to any side. Um, it seems quite vibrant to me. It's um, not on par with the best screen, you know, on like an S21 Ultra or um, an iPhone or the OnePlus. But the big plus point about this phone is it's £109 in the UK currently and around, I think, $120 in the US. So it's definitely good value for what you're getting. We'll just roll through all the specs again, guys. So yeah, 1080p panel, it's a 339 PPI display. Um, it's a 4G handset, it's not 5G. Doesn't really affect me at the moment, 5G is not in my area. Um, it's um, only got 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, as I said in the comparison as well. So if you've got five gigahertz, band on your broadband router as I'm sure most do at home these days you're going to find it's not as fast to download things um, I haven't really seen any impact to me I don't really download much these days um, I do upload videos to YouTube but yeah I can test that out with the phone um, downloading apps seems fairly similar times it doesn't seem any longer than my Google Pixel so yeah it's not really a big deal um, Okay, so get back to the specs. So it's got a Qualcomm 665 uh, Snapdragon. So Snapdragon 665, it's 11 nanometer um, architecture. And that equates, so it's an octa-core, four times two gigahertz Cairo 260 gold. That's a mouthful, guys. And a four times 1.8 gigahertz Cairo 260 silver. Again, a big mouthful. Um, and an Adreno 610. So you're getting a fairly high Snapdragon for £109 again. It's not like the Snapdragon 450, which is really basic, or a MediaTek that's not going to be on par with a Snapdragon. So it, it's not a bad chip. Um, 64 gig of onboard storage, 4 gig of RAM, and it's micro D SD um, shared SIM slot. So you can put um, your SIM and micro SD up to, I think it's 256 gig. So, you know, if you store a lot on your phone, this guy's gonna do it, you know, it's you can really expand the storage. Okay, and it's got a quad core, quad core? It's a quad, it's early in the UK, guys. We'll just um, tell you that I'm having my coffee because I'm still waking up. Okay, so it's, um, it's a quad lens, 16 megapixel main shooter this guy and um, there's um, an 8 megapixel telephoto an 8 megapixel wide ultra wide and a 2 megapixel macro camera so um, one plus point with this phone you get 4k 30 again for not a lot of money you know for budget most phones around under 200 pounds 200 dollars you're probably not gonna get 4k so you know that's really good um, You've also got a 60 megapixel um, front-facing camera. 
and stereo speakers. Uh, they're both tuned by um, Dolby Atmos. And there's a 5,000 milliamp hour battery with 18 watt fast charging. And as I said, you do get an 18 watt fast charger in the box, which annoys me with other phones when the phone's capable of doing 18 watt for you know for instance and then you get a 5 watt or 7 watt charger and um, which you do with Samsung's oh, a bit of dust on that <laughs> you do with Samsung's guys right okay so yeah and this gets an endurance rating for the battery of 136 hours on GSM Arena which is, is really high okay so let's have a look at the camera I'll Okay, so here's some indoor shots just in the house. <laughs> I love this car. I think every kid should have that car, the little tykes one, that's my daughter's. Oh, there's a snail come to see us this morning. Spider then, just popping back in if you saw that as well, guys. So, yeah, leave Mr. Snail alone. Some sample pics again, guys. So, it's a nice um, bit of dy the dynamic range is... And the, it's pretty sharp, it's picked out highlights there where it's gone a little bit rusty, this metal heart, because it, it rains a lot in the UK. And if you can see that, it looks, yeah, you know, it's brought the detail out. Yeah, so it looks like it's going to rain in the UK today, guys, which I'm happy about because we've had a lot of um, hot weather over the last three weeks and... Us Brits, we're not built for hot weather. Well, I'm not anyway. You know, I, I, I'm I used to, like, being rained on in Manchester. So, yeah, I, I kind of um, welcome it. So, the um, yeah, it brings out colours. Well, that is true to life. It's not very bright, that hanging basket. But, you know, it's brought the colours out well. Um, very good colour reproduction, actually. That's, yeah. Exactly what your eye sees, really. So it must be tuned well to natural colours. There's my lovely mug. So it brings out the highlights beautifully in my grey beard. Look at that, guys. Wow. <laughs> Back to landscape. I think we've got a video coming up in a moment as well, guys. But yeah, you know, again, for the money, I'm really impressed with that camera. You know, if this was your only phone and you weren't either... Oh, sorry, that's the video I'll put that on in a second. If you weren't, weren't, you know, you just wanted some good shots of your family and friends and, you know, you're not a big photograph lover or enthusiast this is fine you know let's have a look at this video i've just woke up excuse the breathing noises sound like darth vader so there's no stabilization on any mode this is 4k 30 and i believe as i say there's no stabilization but it's not too bad i'm not really walking you know much here it's just having a little step in the garden
So one big plus point I found is navigation. It's just really fluid. Again, like my, um, well, it's not as good as my Pixel, but it has got nice navigation and it's what I'm used to with the Pixel now because um, it's stock Android. You've got um, your news feed to the far left when you pull it there. Oh, someone slagging off Roy Keane. I bet they wouldn't say that's Roy Keane's face. He's a bit of a crazy man. Roy Keane's a Man United legend, like one of my favourite players ever. I won't say what team I support, though. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, guys. Sorry, I digress. So, yeah, really nice navigation, like I say. Um, I've not seen too many hiccups. Uh, the only thing that was a bit annoying was um, in the car and the Bluetooth... Um, it keeps dropping out on my car's uh, Bluetooth unit, so I was on the. I was trying to phone my wife actually because um, I needed to speak to her about something, and yeah, it just kept dropping out. But I'm, I think this unit is probably a year old because I think it's been used by other reviewers. As I say, it's a review unit, so it might just be it's a fault with this particular unit. You know, I haven't found any big complaints online about the Bluetooth, so it, it might just be this unit, like I say. Um, but yeah, so the screen, I'm really impressed with the screen, like I've, I've said, guys, so we'll take it over to YouTube now. Uh, let's get something nice and 4K and vibrant. This is a good one with a... Uh... Yeah, stereo speakers are loud, guys. That's another big plus, you know, if you're just chilling out, you've got a big 6.4 inch screen and full HD. Like I said, dual stereo speakers with... Uh, Dolby Atmos. Aren't sloths funny? It's like, hey, you guys, just make me laugh. Don't know why he's sloth out the Goonies, but he's a sloth. I'm in a silly mood today, guys. It's a little froggy. So yeah, as um, I'll say it, as Flossy Carter says, this is beautiful. But honestly, for the money, it's great screen and great experience. I'd, I'd watch Netflix on this or YouTube, you know. If this was my main phone, I'd be happy. Turn it down a bit now, guys. So it, it's really good as well. Um, one thing I really like about these Moto phones, it's got the same um, hole punch front-facing camera, but in the corner like my Pixel. So on the Samsungs and, you know, a lot of phones, they're here. And if, if you're watching a video, if you think like you hold your thumb there like that normally, or, you know, even if you're not looking, that just falls away. You can't really see it. Whereas on the ones where it's in the center, it's a bit intrusive. I think, you know, it, it catches your eye when you're watching a video. Um, so it, yeah, activates my OCD anyway. So there you go, guys, you know, nice looking video. Asphalt 9. Let's get into this. Um, it's not as good quality as my Google Pixel like with the 730G. Um, you can tell the, the graphics, like the GPU is not as good. But it's playable. See what you think, guys. Okay, and I keep saying it. £109, you know, you're getting a lot of foam. So yeah, you know, again, awesome phone. Go this way, go this way, guys. Here we go. This is one of my favourite cars, the LaFerrari. I mean, any any Ferrari is my favourite car. But yeah, I'm a, I love Ferraris. 
If I ever make it on YouTube, I'll buy a Ferrari, but we'll see, guys. Might take me a few years, that. Yeah, my dad always said, uh, work hard, son, and, you know, when you grow up, you can buy a Ferrari, and, yeah, I just went out and <laughs> didn't really... <laughs> I did all right at school. Not too good, though. I never got a Ferrari, though. Anyway, guys, sorry. Talking rubbish today. But, yeah, as you can see, it plays as Fortnite. You know, it's um, that's a demanding game. It wasn't lagging and stuttering and, you know, crashing or anything like that. And the phone's getting a little bit hot to the touch, but it's not... doesn't get as hot as my Pixel. The Pixel would be, um, you know, burning my hand a little bit now. Oh, just another navigation thing, guys, um, I didn't talk about. You can get any quick settings, like, um, on the Pixel as well, and most Android phones just by swiping down, and again, it's, you know, navigates nicely. Yeah, so just a quick review today, guys, again, but overall, this is an excellent phone. Um, I highly recommend it for £109. I've said that figure so many times. Um, or, like I say, $120 in the US. Um the, the build quality, obviously, you're not getting... The, God, I'll give this a clean for dramatic effects. I need to stop quoting Flossy Carter, but I love Flossy Carter. <laughs> yeah, so sorry. The build, um, it's just a plastic unibody. Um, but, you know, it's okay. Um, if you've got a case on it, like most people most of the time, you're not even going to see the back. Um, oh, fingerprint scanner. This is really quick, watch guys. Bang. So really quick. Do that again. Boom, straight in. Ah, sorry, okay. so it doesn't have face unlock, so you've got um, fingerprint, um, screen lock. But, yeah, to be honest, as a lot of the tech YouTubers say, we've not been using Face ID a lot because we wear masks a lot. But, obviously, that that's going to change, hopefully, guys, pretty soon. Um, but, yeah, you know, it's been handy having fingerprint scanners, and this one is really fast. Um, oh, and I, I've mentioned it on the last video, so it did get Android 11 this, I'll just show you. Not in that. Oh, it's still updating, but it, it has got Android 11 now. Um, but as I say, I, I don't know if this phone's been sat somewhere for a long time but it took a while for it to get to android 11 maybe about three days of me um it does incremental upgrades so it's gone through all android 10 uh, to get to android 11 but you know it's nice you've got it on this phone now and it's um you know android 12 is out pretty soon but this will um it'd be a good phone for you know at least two three years i'd say i don't think motorola support or claim to support for a very long time um, in terms of software updates, but I'd say you get at least you know another two three years out of this. Um, but yeah, it's a great phone. One big thing, the battery is probably along with the screen and the processor. The battery is really so, yeah, good. this is since last charge, but I reckon you know it's an eighteen hour phone, um, so day and a half of, of use really before you're reaching for the charger um and yes yeah, most people i don't charge my phone every night i just was using this and i run it right down or when you get to about 20 percent. but yeah battery's great okay guys so yeah like i say really chuffed for this phone um I'd, I'd actually buy this phone myself i've recently got a work phone it's the um samsung a12 which i'm gonna review on the channel and the A12, I think it's between £150 to 200 And that has got a MediaTek processor. And this is a better phone. Um, Samsung's maybe a bigger name, but I think Moto are trying to, you know, catch up with that. With They are releasing some premium phones now. But yeah, this one's highly recommended, guys. And um, take care of yourselves. Hope you have a good rest of your weekend. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.